I'm here with Jan Crittenden, and uh, the thing that everybody has wanted to know is how is this 3D camera possible? I mean, it's like uh, fabulous engineering. Um, I know that's not exactly the most introspective answer, but quite frankly, when we start talking about small camera technology, we've got small cameras, we've got a uh, small recording technology called AVC Cam. We've got uh, fabulous engineering that brings these lenses into uh, this scenario and it allows us to do this. Um, couldn't have done it a couple years ago because the technology wasn't small enough to make it all happen. Uh, the camera is uh, recording to our AVC Cam, which is the professional implementation of AVC HD here at Panasonic and so that gives us a 21 to 24 megabits per second recording capability. That workflow actually is fairly easy to work with. We bring it into Final Cut, much like we did with our music video that's out on the front screens. We brought it into Final Cut, cut the left eye, conformed the right eye, uh, double checked it through the dashwood, uh, um, dashboard, if you will, <laughs> his uh, Stereo 3D. And uh, then when we got here, we output it as uh, ABC Intra to P2. And we're paired the, we've paired the two files to play together. First off, it's small. It's six and a half pounds. It's portable. That makes it obviously different. Because when we start looking even the smallest rigs, they're like uh, 27 pounds, I think, is the smallest one I know of. Um, obviously, a huge difference is trying to do rock climbing or something like that. Um, does it do everything that the big rigs do? No, it doesn't. I can't change that interaxial distance, you know, that the distance between the eyes, right? It's only, uh, it's two and a half inches or 65 millimeters, so that's fixed. I can, however, as a creative tool, change my convergence point anywhere in the plane. So I can actually have stuff come out of the screen, at the screen, and into the screen. So I do get the full 3D effect, it's just that I have an optimum distance that I'm working within. 10 feet to about 100 feet, and that 100 feet is pretty much where all 3D starts getting minimal 3D effect. So the closest I can get with this is about 10 feet. Those big rigs, I can get the interaxial much closer. So I can do that big hero shot, that big close up. With this camera, I'm not going to do that. The last question I'm going to ask about 3D is to you, the viewer. Do you watch 3D movies? How about 3D TV? 3D online? Do you play 3D games? I want to hear from you. Tweet Cruise Control Inc or Cruise Control Cam and let us know. Thanks. So where do you download information over Drive? Go to Cruise Control's website and click Podcast.